Hello guys, Kathan again. Let's change some bits today. The problem that we are solving today is seal and receipt. So the problem code is C I E L R C P T, and this problem is from the beginner level of practice problems in CodeChef. All right, guys. So let's get into the problem statement. Tommy is a girl. She loves Chef Seal very much. Tomia likes a positive integer p, and now she wants to get a receipt of Seal's restaurant. Uh, whose total price is exactly p? The current menus of Seals Restaurant are shown in the following table. So these, uh, you know, uh, name of the menu doesn't really matter. You only have to care about the prices. And as you can see, the prices are doubling as we go down the line: one into two, two into two, four into two, eight into two, sixteen, and so on until two zero four eight. Right? So two power ten is one zero two four. So this is two power eleven. Okay, guys. Note that uh, that's what is saying exactly there. Uh, note that the eighth menu has the price two power i minus one. So how many are there over here? There are twelve menus, and twelfth menu has two power twelve minus one, which is two power eleven is the price of the twelfth menu, right? Since Tomia is a pretty girl, she cannot eat a lot. So please find the minimum number of menus whose total price is exactly p. Note that if she orders the same menu twice, then it is considered as two menus uh, or ordered. See explanations for details. So as you can see, uh, we have to find the minimum number of uh, orders so that we can hit the price P. And also, he also mentioned that uh, if she orders the same menu twice, it it is considered as two different uh, uh, two different menus, right? And we can see the input format. Test cases are present, and in each uh, test case, we get the value of P, right? we can also understand more about how this problem is working when we see the explanation over here let's take the first example which is 10 first test case 10 uh, in the first sample examples of menus whose total price is 10 are the following so these are all the possible cases for uh, reaching at the menu price as 10 right we can have 10 menus each with the price 1 this one basically l flavored water we could order 10 of those and that will amount to 10 or we could do it in this way or you could do it in this way these are all the ways but we have to find the minimum number of menus right so uh, what is the minimum number of menus two menus uh, which is 8 and 2 right 8 is this one uh, grilled eel liver served with gr grated rat fish all right uh, that and the uh, another menu with the price 2 right so this is the best possible uh, case so here the minimum number of menus is 2 okay guys in the last sample as you can see the optimal way is 2048 plus 2048 equal to 4096 two menus note that there is no menu whose price is 4096 yeah so he also mentioned that uh, the maximum is only 2048 we cannot go we cannot extend this formula to uh, other menus so there are only 12 menus in the uh, Uh, in the list right guys so let's see how we do it i'll do one thing instead of explaining the logic first and then coding it i'll do the coding part first and then i'll explain the logic so that it will be uh, easy for you to understand once you see the code uh, and how it's happening right so let's take the test cases and the input values first t equal to int of input for i in range of t mm. n equals to int of input we could take it as p i i should rather take it as p i generally follow the convention of what the question is question is giving so that it will be easier to follow when we go wrong if if we go wrong right so we got the p value 10 yeah guys so we we just took the inputs now what we will do is we will initialize it as a list we will initialize a new list which contains the prices of all the menus right 20481024512 and so on right 1024512 2 
128 and 64 and 32 16 8 4 2 1 right actually guys this this kind this methodology is also useful for uh, roman numerals uh, you'll understand later when if we do the roman numerals problem mm, we got the list now now what we'll do is while p not equal to 0 or rather while p is greater than 0 uh, for i in l so it will uh, for the this statement what it does is i will be iterating over l so it will first be 2048 and then 1024 and observe guys this order is also important if we reverse the order then it won't work for i in l mm, p percentile sorry if p is greater than i p minus equals to i and answer plus equals to 1 Right. All of this is done. Let's print the answer. And I forgot to initialize the answer, which would give an error if we didn't initialize it. Right. Let's check this. Oh, sorry. We're also getting a J over here. But we have to put it as J rather than I. Uh, right. Okay, so we forgot to take care of the other condition. If p is not greater than this zero, sorry, uh, j, then what do we do? Uh, we just continue, right? Oh wait, this is actually taken care even if we don't include it. Yeah, guys, we have to include p is greater than or equal to say j. Yeah, there we go. 2, 1, 8, and 13. Okay, so the last one is wrong. I wonder why. So let's see what's uh, let's debug it by seeing what's happening with p over here. Yeah, after eight is what we need to check we got 2048 because we have uh, we have already deleted once oh, okay so j is only happening once so that's the problem right uh, we need to change this the uh, inside code because when we are going through j we are only uh, you know uh, what should I say we're only considering this value once and then this value once and so on right so if, uh, but what we are doing inside is we are only deleting it once. If it is actually a multiple of more than one, then it's, we are getting wrong in that case. So we need to handle that case, right? So if P is greater than or equal to zero, uh, let's do one thing. X equals to, okay. Okay, uh, we'll do one thing, uh, answer plus equals to P, 
double divided by j and then we'll change the p down to here and we'll put it as p percentile equals to j right so this should work i'll explain why uh, what's happening inside that loop in a in a bit 2 1 8 and 2 right so i'll just submit it once and then check if it's right and then i'll explain the code right okay so uh, the answer is correct so i'll explain this uh, initially the answer is zero right when we uh, let's see what's happening in the last case because all the uh, other cases are pretty simple so in 4096 what's happening is p is 4096 and it is greater than zero uh, so we, we enter this loop and then for j in l which means now j is 2048 right so two, uh, 4096 which is the p's value uh, let's just put I'll just put it in the comments p equals to 4096 and then here j equals to 2048 now what's happening is uh, p is greater than or equal to 0 is true so answer plus equals to p double divided by uh, p integer division j which results in 2 right because 2048 into 2 equal to 4096 so answer is uh, incremented by 2 so 0 plus 2 which will be 2 answer is 2 now and then p percentile equals to j so what happens now is p equals to p percentile j which is equals to uh, 4096 percentile 2048 which is equal to 0 right because there is no reminder when we do the division of 4096 with 2048 right so now p is 0 and when it is 0 we exit out of the loop and then we we'll just print the answer right guys so uh, you can do this debugging for all the other test cases if you want to see and uh, yeah th uh, that will yeah you can do that so that you will understand if you have any doubts right there we go right thank you guys uh, if you have any doubts uh, put it in the comments i'll try to answer them as fast as i can and if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike find uh, uh, hit the uh, dislike button uh, either way just let me know what you think about the videos and uh, share it with your friends so that they can also uh, benefit from the content and subscribe if you want to see more of this content coming okay guys thank you